So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing great on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, 83 degrees. It's gorgeous. Thank you for being here. Hope you're doing all right. Have you been preparing? I hope so. Are you? I hope you are because I'm telling you what, it's crunch time. It's so crunch time. Yesterday, I went and ran my first 5K for this year. I haven't ran one since last September. Did pretty good. A lot of hills in that race. Not not drastic, but just enough to slow you down. I did um, I did come in first place. It's a, it was a small 5K, so I don't want to sound like I'm tooting my horn that big, but I'm proud of myself because uh, my goal was just finish the race. Because I have, you know, I'm just now getting with warmer weather coming in, getting back into my routine. But I ran the full race. I didn't stop. Other people like to like speed up like <laughs> the road runner and then they stop and walk. I'm like, that is so dumb. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just, just get on a nice slow pace or an e even pace and breathe, you know, br breathe and go. And it, guess what? You end up being in first place anyway, right? So whatever. So went really well and I uh, was excited to participate. I almost didn't participate because of a little bit of concern about the warning signs of the things that were going to be happening, which did happen because they told you it was going to happen yesterday between, well, from Iran to Israel. And we know of all of the things that happened yesterday. And, um, you know, we kept up with it. So yeah, I was watching a lot of you were like, I know you're running, but do you see this? I'm, I, we were like, yes, <laughs> we do. Um, guys, I want you to be, um, mentally preparing for that, for something to happen here. I'm just going to just say it, come out of the gate and tell you right now. Um, for multiple reasons. They've been warning you for a long time. You have um, 10, 15, 20, 100 million, who, we don't really know how many um, people that have come across our borders um, over the last three years. Um, and um, they, get a, they get and do whatever they want, whereas you are, you know, uh, totally not allowed to do a lot of these things yourself. Um, and uh, th that should be a warning sign to you in itself. The warning signs of everything that's happening and the bread and circuses is so in front of everybody's faces, but what is shocking is not those things happening or being played out in front of you. It is the people that still uh, are totally asleep. Um, and it's very upsetting to see individuals that are supporting warmongering. Um, I, you know, I put up earlier today, I'll just go ahead and tell you, I got very upset seeing that, um, um, our states, one of our state senators here in Tennessee, uh, Marsha Blackburn had put up yesterday when this was all going down that she actually on her X or Twitter page, I still call it Twitter, um, had tagged POTUS, that's president of the United States in saying that we didn't say Israel said we, we should, um, aggressively retaliate. I have a screenshot of that. Um, and I put that up this morning because I don't see how anybody in their right mind would support that type of language. Um, and people do. People do. They confuse it with that, that, that they have to, we have to participate in that and that Americans have to participate in that. And your children, by the way, need to get sucked into that. Otherwise, you're not supporting Israel. Yeah. Uh, and then you're going to be questioned upon your religion. You're going to be questioned whether or not you're actually a Christian, whether or not you are ever going to speak up for Israel. Not, you know, this is like me sitting here talking, asking you if you like to dip your French fries in ketchup. And, and you look up at me and go, well, I'm going to talk about brownies. None of these things are related. People don't want to um, pay attention. Um, they don't want to talk about the actual context of what's being posted. They try to flip it. And these are warmongering people. Uh, these are evil evil spirits. Uh, and they are blinded. I, they, 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 I, I'm, I'm actually convinced they have ear tags. I'm actually convinced of that. I'm going to start looking for that now. Because anybody in their right mind that would think that the United States, because of yesterday... The United States should have absolutely just retaliated against Iran. Um, no, no, I, I, I think uh, I think you need your head checked. I'm just going to be honest with you, and this is going to make people mad. That's not speaking anything about Israel, okay? Defending something is not the same as going out and offensively attacking something the next day or later on or whatever. This whole thing is uh, has been placed out in front of you 
um, totally predictable. And what it should lead you to the conclusion of mostly is that you better be preparing like wildfire here. Okay. I don't believe that these same people are preparing for an attack here. They just want to say whatever they're wanting to say at the expense of young lives and uh, military or potentially even your children or maybe you yourself depending on who you are where you are your experience your age etc etc this is all being played out in front of you to program you I said that I don't care if this person is is a senator from Tennessee and I, I don't care if she is a Republican as well that was a disgusting remark um, and is insane totally insane totally insane I absolutely am a Christian, just like many of you, or a, a God-fearing individual, and I'm sorry, I, I no, I'm not sorry. I, I, I'm not for war, I'm not for war. I think that it's fair that if you are peacefully living wherever you are and you defend yourself, but then if you offensively go on an attack just because, which was what is what that would be, um, I think that's a wrong approach. I think every diplomatic, peaceful approach needs to be explored and discussed and uh, implemented long before war is ever put on the table. But how can you do that when you, your leadership is playing both sides? Both sides. You, oh, you want some money? Do you need some money? Are you my friend? I'm your friend. Oh, don't. Hey, don't. Don't. Uh, I, I think maybe we shouldn't. See, this is all, this is, this is, it's just, how can you even take this serious? Why would you ever want to go into any type of military conflict with such lacking leadership? You know, I was going to try to be calm and cool in this video, and I just don't think it's in me. I think, I think because I'm frustrated that people um, are not seeing the writing on the wall, I don't think they understand. Um, and then they try to b throw in biblical context that you're supposed to just go and just like slaughter and do and be and, and, and lie and, and, and plunder and steal from all kinds of things in the name of God. I, I think we better be, wor I, I don't know that's not my Jesus. <laughs> so I don't know who your Jesus is, but that is not my Jesus. To right, rightfully defend you, yourself, your home, your people, that's not what we're talking about here because somebody, before I ever even get to this point in the video, is going to jump on that bandwagon and is going to continue to tell me and tell people like you that are in agreement that you know basically you're not you're not this you're not that and then they'll throw they'll take they'll take the bible out of context and throw it at you um they don't consider actual world history that has applied and changed read they, they it's just it's ridiculous but the bottom line is is you you were told this was going to happen you are also being told of what else is going to happen yeah, let's go bomb um, Iran today so then we can sit and watch how many people do what in cells here all around this nation. And it's just so ripe and beautiful because nobody's prepared for it. No, I think we'll hold on that one, Senator. That, we're not interested in that today. We're not interested in that today. We're not interested in that today. There is so much going on. There are so many moving parts that you have to get through your emotions like I'm trying to because I have three young sons. Mm-hmm. Sure do. Sure do. Sure do. If you're 30 years old, your son's 30 years old, you know, I just cannot believe that anybody that's out there, like this one individual, and I'm just going to say it, who claimed to be a military mom had no, well, she wouldn't actually fully answer any questions. People will see a post and um because i post i put that senator's post up and they will not answer to the post they will not say whether or not they agree that we that the united states should should or should not do something like that they flip it to oh the bible and oh this and i'm like no 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 or you know terry you need to explain to me i haven't heard you say uh, or, or, you, or how do you reconcile and how do you, how do you do, 
this isn't about my religion. This is, this is the post. Why would she say this? Why would the United States do this? And what's the payoff? What's the payoff here? Why? But that's what people, these people are either so brainwashed with the tag in their ear or they're part of this movement, which is to suck you into more war because war is major, major money. All those people making all that money in the stock market right now, major movers, right, moving the money. We aren't talking about middle class citizens here whose son is going to boot camp next month. No, 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 no. None of that applies there. So who, who's everybody working for? This country is continuing to be divided, hardcore. You know, I spoke out against Iraq, going into Iraq, and everybody thought I was nuts. It didn't make sense because we were, because it was, po you know, post 9-11 and we were supposed to be united and American and we were for a while and it was great. Wasn't that beautiful? That in that, in that sense, that was beautiful, but it, it, it got manipulated. It got used. It got abused. And a lot of young men and women were lost or maimed who, who now suffer from massive PTSD. They'll never be the same because of everything that they saw and went through. And then we, we shift to everything that happened in Afghanistan. How did that happen in terms of what a great pullout from there that was in 2021? Mm. But you want this buffoon to light up Iran and somebody like me or somebody like you shouldn't question it? That's very concerning. And that is where the Amer some, some, not all, not most, but that is uh, where a, a, a portion of the minds are. They feel like that can be justified. If you're listening to anybody, be it your pastor, be it your mama, be it your daddy, be it somebody online that is making you think that that is justified. Now I'm talking about specifically what I just talked about in the name of the Bible or whatever, what, however you want. Mm -mm, no, sorry. I can't, I can't go for that. No, no, don't, 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 uh, 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 no. So I think you need to be preparing your body as hardcore as you can. I think you better, these people that say all of these things, are they prepared? Probably not. Can they run up and down their driveway? Probably not. Can they, um, do they have skill sets to, to set their home in the right tone in terms of preparedness? Uh, probably not. Don't let them lead you down this path of destruction. It's doing it well enough on its own. On its own. Okay? No one here, no one there is telling Israel what they should or should not do. So don't take me out of context there. Okay? I get that. But when you're talking about us becoming more involved... That's some dangerous stuff right there, folks. Dangerous, dangerous folks. We are in some dangerous times. And you're living amongst many, many enemies, spiritually and physically. Has, has, is, is anyone not considering this? Am I, I, I can't be, this little, this little redneck sitting right here with her Tennessee hat on cannot be the only person sitting here going, um, I'm not sure about, no, nah, say what, why, uh, do we have the money to do that? We can't even feed our homeless people or help our veterans. And we're going to send, uh, you want, you need a billion dollars today. We're going to go bomb. What? Why? Well, I feel, do you not feel that there are days that you just go, what in the heck? All, and then and then something catastrophic happens and everybody turns around and looks at each other and goes, I can't believe this happened. Yeah, you should. You poke, you're poking the bear. You're believing the BS. You're getting a second tag in your ear 
you're going along with it. You're spreading the propaganda. Your tax dollars, you don't even know where they're going. It doesn't matter who you think about this. I mean, it's just insane. It's just insane. It's just, um, my blood pressure is going to go up. Guys, please be preparing as hard as you can. Spiritually, please don't let, in the name of Jesus, please do not let these people lead you down this path of destruction. War makes major money for the few. All the while, it's putting your sons and daughters into a meat grinder. They don't care. Why would they care? They just brought in 10 million new slaves. You, you don't mean jack. They're just using you for your tax dollars for now. Doesn't mean anything, does it? So think about that. If they are using you that hard for your tax dollars, don't do anything to protect you. Why would you ever think that anything like that, ma'am, was ever a good idea? Guys, we're going to have to be bold. Things are being taken out of context and used against the good people of this country. And we're going to have to be very bold in doing our best to speak against these things and to pray. Please pray that we get new leadership come this fall. It's not going to be perfect. In fact, you know, we could sit here and eat. Somebody's going to say the, part of the reason a lot of these things are happening is to set up for no election. I guess we'll find out, won't we? So control what you can, which is your emotions. Think things through. I have to as well. Please be praying and ask the Lord to really truly show you the light and what's going on. We've been deceived for a very long time. And a lot and every day something new is happening to reveal what is what's what is the only truth. And with that, please be preparing your heart, your mind, your soul. Please get more physically active. You're going to need to, baby. You're going to need it. You're going to need it as much as you can. And preparing your finances as much as you can. Get your assets lined up how you need to. Please, your food and your water. Don't be afraid to speak. But let me remind you this one thing before I break. When you speak like I have spoken today, you will have people push against you. They don't want the word out. They don't want people to think. They don't want people to stand up what's, for, what's right. They don't want people standing up for our young people and children. That is for sure. They have to use them. They have to take them. No, not mine. No. Not today. Not today, enemy. Not today. And again, we're shown again. Party lines don't matter, do they? It is two wings of the same bird. Two wings of the same bird. What's the point in standing up for something that seems conservative when you turn around six months later and you're, you're willing to basically start a world war, sending us all to slaughter one way or another because it will come here. I would argue under the, under the covers probably already is. Look how divided we are. Now, so call me what you want. Hate me as you will. But I'm not going to be rooting for war. Now, like, subscribe, and share. I hope you are busy as a bee today. I love you all. Thank you for your support. I hope this comes across in the way in which I mean for it to. If it's offended some, some people because they want to be warmongers, please, please unsubscribe and leave my channel. I don't want you here. We will never see eye to eye. I don't want you in my circle. You don't want me in your circle because I will disrupt it. <laughs> okay? So you go along and float along with your little warmonger dreams and go do your thing and support the warmongers. The rest of us are going to stand up for what's right and stand up for our children and stand up for, two, for true freedom. Not just for people here in the United States, but for people all around the world because whether you like it or not, well, they're God's children too. They sure are. And that's not speaking for or against anyone, anywhere, any religion, any, any nation. That's not standing up for God's people. 
and we will be judged upon with we'll be judged on that but no i will not advocate for war absolutely not because guys it's already on the way please hold the line as long as you can and prepare as hard as and as fast as you can too i love y'all i hope you know that we'll see where the cookie crumbles and the cards fall Godspeed, God bless, be peaceful, be praying, be preparing, and I'll see you guys on the next video.